and putting any scraps or unusable leftovers into compost can reduce the amount of methane released into the atmosphere. Composting is one method to reduce methane emissions from organic waste. In this Keeping It Green segment, Ian Wallace looks at how composting manure on a farm fights climate change. Farm animals produce piles of manure, which if left by itself to decompose, release methane into the atmosphere. Methane is 26 times more potent than carbon dioxide as a greenhouse gas and is a significant contributor to global greenhouse gas emissions. So raw manure is not the best to use in agriculture, according to soil scientists at the University of the West Indies. When the carbon is easily degradable, as we find in uh, manure, uh, two, a couple of things could happen. As the carbon degrades, it converts to carbon dioxide, and we all know carbon dioxide is one of the troublesome uh, greenhouse gases. When you think about carbon emissions uh, from the agricultural sector, um, manure management is one of the major areas from which we get that carbon coming from. To reduce carbon emissions, one solution for farmers is composting. Composting is a human-driven process whereby we, comp we pile the waste in a manner that allows for biochemical heat to generate. There are misconceptions between decomposing and composting, however. Organic materials cannot compost naturally. They could degrade naturally, but they cannot compost. Composted manure retains considerably higher proportions of applied carbon in the soil than does raw manure, says Dr. Eudoxy. At the same time, keep the nutrients where we want them. Otherwise, what you find is that the nutrients, as the material degrades, leaches into the soils and then become an environmental problem. We have nitrogen leaching and as well phosphorus leading to environmental pollution and contamination of our waterways. Farmers can compost animal manures and agricultural waste to avoid or reduce harm to the environment. Good composting practices minimize greenhouse gas emissions and brings results. Compost um, included at 30%. Right? Mm -hmm. You see any nutrient differences in terms of the leaf size, the color of the leaf, the plant growth. And here you see a uh, deficiency in the sense that there's not enough nutrients to sustain the plants here. This is just pure soil. I'm sure not all householders appreciate having to deal with the odor and other nuisances associated with manure and, and, and organic waste. Composting addresses all of these issues and gives us a waste that is easy to store and easy to use. Compost benefits the climate in a few different ways, including by reducing greenhouse gas emissions at landfills, promoting uptake of carbon dioxide by vegetation, and also making our farms and gardens more resilient to the effects of climate change. I'm Ian Wallace, keeping it green for TDT News.